All right, Bolo Buddies, you might think she's nuts. She just sold that Bolo on Whatnot for this price. Oh, <gasps> did I mess up? Did I make a mistake? Did I do the right thing? Let's find out. Join me in this video as we research a Bolo category that you just might not know about. So do not walk past this Bolo. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I'm here to talk to you about a big money Bolo. Um, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I told you guys that I'm bringing good stuff to whatnot, things that I would sell. Okay, before we go any further, I would like to invite you to follow me on Whatnot. My link is down in the description of the video. If you are new to Whatnot and you use that referral link to join, you will get $15 to shop. And if you are already on Whatnot, you can just use that link to find me. All right, you guys, let's get started. And um, I kind of had an inkling that this was going to be a bolo, but I did not know for sure because I did not look it up. I knew if I looked it up and saw that it was a big money bolo that I would want to list it. So I was like, I'm not looking it up. Let me show it to you. And let me first tell you how I knew that it could be a bolo. All right. So I have memberships on my channel and people can join and then they share their bolos and they get a mention in a video. So I share their uh, bolo and then I point to their YouTube channel or their eBay store. And I link it down in the description in those videos. Um, and a lot of times when people join memberships, I will go and check out their channel. So that's what I was doing. I was snooping around. All right. And I went over to this channel right here and right here, it says 10 times my profit. And it said Bolo. And I'm like, of course, I'm going to watch that. I want to see what this is all about. And she was actually talking about the item that I sold in my whatnot auction. But I also sold another set of items that I think are also, anyway, I did the research. I'm going to tell you about it. So anyway, this is Flip It Friends. She um, is a retired auctioneer and it sounds like she has a ton of knowledge so definitely go and sub her up. I will link her down below in the description. Um, I'm not sure how long she's been um, on YouTube. It doesn't look very like it's been very long, but 60 subscribers, you guys, let's see how many subscribers we can get her because she has fantastic editing skills and it looks like she really knows her stuff. So go check her out. I think it'll definitely be worth your time. All right, so let's go back. So that's how I knew when I saw this that it could be something special. But again, I didn't look it up. And one of the things that she mentioned is the more children that the item has, the more it's worth. And her item had a ton of children. Go check out that video and see how much hers sold for. Bolo crazy. Now, mine is very tiny. You can see it next to my pink finger. Another thing she said is if they are signed by an artist, that can make them worth more money, depending on who the artist is. Mine is in like amazing condition. It is incredible, but she only has two children. So I'm thinking about what hers sold for. And this is just me mentally processing without looking up. I'm thinking about what hers sold for. And I'm thinking it's the same type of thing, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm like, mine signed. And I'm like, don't look it up. Don't look it up. This will be a great item to like bring people to your whatnot channel. You know, I want people to come and check out the channel. And I did a preview and I think I showed this in the preview. Now, here are the other items. They are these mini little pottery. I think they're from, I think, um, is it New Mexico? I think, I don't know a whole lot about it, but they are signed on the bottom. And this is what it says. So there's this one. There's this little beauty. And I believe these are probably hand-painted, handmade. This one is also signed the same thing. And this one is just signed SC. But my favorite one is not signed at all. 
And it looks a little bit different. Like these are white on the inside. I don't know if this makes a difference. Um, and this one is kind of more of a clay look, okay? And this one is not signed, but look how beautifully painted it is. This one may be worth the least. I have no idea. I sold these four as a lot, okay? This ended up selling for $35 plus shipping on my whatnot, okay? And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what they're selling for. And I'm going to show you a tool that you can use that's really important, okay? These four, I think think after I sold the doll and people were like, oh my goodness, that doll goes for this much. Um, these went for $56 for all four of them. Okay. So that is an incredible deal. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Um, and then I'm going to go into story time about the person that bought them. So stay tuned for that because I'm really excited. Okay. So let's first, we're going to go over to eBay and we are going to look at solds. Okay. Now, eBay for the Mexican, um, New Mexico miniature pots. Here is one right here, but this one is um, signed Grace Chino. So I think that's how you pronounce it. These are signed S Chino. So I don't know if the S makes a difference. If Grace is special, I have no idea. But this one miniature pot went up to $111. And one thing that I mentioned, I would probably put dollhouse in the title. This one is called a seed pot. There was a best offer taken. And then you've got these two right here that only went for $17. So my thought on this one is that the person did not know the value. They put a buy it now price on it and they sold it too cheap. Okay. So let's go over to the storyteller doll. All right. So I just put uh, storyteller and it's Chiquiti, C O C H. I, -T -I. I did not put in her name, okay? But we'll get into that. Here's one that sold for $600. Now, mine is very small. This one right here is four and a half inches. And this is a different artist. So the artist does make a difference, okay? But I'm showing you some high solds. Because if you see these storyteller dolls with kids, you definitely want to look them up. Um, 239, 199. Look at the owls. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here is one that is very, very similar to mine by the same artist. And this one sold for $168.99. Now the hands and what they're doing with their hands is different than mine. So they are all, um, I would say artisan made probably and a little bit different. This one has four babies. This one's six inches. So it's a little bigger. This one just says storyteller doll with no artist. So definitely, definitely be on the lookout, okay? But it gets better. Let's go over to Worth Point, okay? So what I did on Worth Point is I typed in Chiquiti, C-O-C-H-I-T-I, -I, storyteller. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize if I am not. If you can find Helen Cordero, Oh my goodness, look at this, $8,000. What does this tell you to do? It tells you to look everything up. What if I would have had a Helen Cordero? Oh my goodness, ah! So anyway, I am, I'm really excited about this, to be honest with you guys. The gal that won it, um, she is the lady that gave me all of the free plush. She um, reached out to me and she said, hey, I have all of this plush. I need it gone tomorrow. Can you come get it? And I went and picked it up. And um, so she gifted it to me. So I am super excited that she won these items because I think she's going to make some nice profits. Um, so yeah, that just kind of warmed my heart. Okay. Cause she was such a generous giving person and that was so kind of her to, to give that to me. So, um, all right. So let's look at some more of these solds from worth point. And again, this is why I use worth point. This is why I think worth point is important. Um, worth point is a little bit pricey. Um, I do pay by the year because it's cheaper than paying by the month. So I just have my subscription set up and I pay by the year. If you guys want to um, check out WorthPoint, I do have a referral link down in the description. 
Worth point is not for everyone, okay? It's more for people that are selling collectibles, harder to find items. Um, I don't know if you can do clothing on worth point. I've never really researched clothing, maybe vintage clothing. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. But I absolutely love worth point for reasons just like this. Okay, look at this one with all the babies, $3,900. Wow, look at all the babies. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. So we're going to go over here to another page and there's different variety. Like these are on a turtle, but they're storyteller dolls. Um, I know storyteller jewelry is another thing that can do really well. I learned that from Moonstone Mamas. Um, so if you have anything that is like telling a story with symbols on jewelry, definitely look that up. We are still at a, over a thousand dollars for these pieces. This is absolutely incredible. Incredible. Okay, so let's go over and look at, I mean, I could go on and on. You guys can uh, definitely look into this more. Now I typed in the lady's last name. Um, Shalon, Mary O. Shalon, okay? Here is the same artist that made mine. This one sold for $1,199. It's an 11 inch. So it's a bigger one. And you look here, 500, 420. These are bigger. But holy cow. Here's the one that I showed you on eBay that sold in November of 22 for $168.99. And you guys, when you search on eBay, you may see a sold item that sold for way less. And it's just probably because the person didn't know what they had. They didn't know the value, so they underpriced the item. So it is really important to do your research and know what your item is worth if you're selling it on eBay. Again, I did not research the item on purpose. So right here, we've got 62 and 2017. We've got 60 and 2022. But again, this person probably didn't have worth point. They probably didn't look it up. They didn't know that it was a special artist. They underpriced it. So honestly, if I was going to list this item right now, I would list it very, very high on eBay. Now, wait until you see the pots, all right? So I am under Chino Pottery Miniature. That's what I typed in. And you can see here, all of these went for 813. There's four of them here, 805, 546 for all of these. So they really, really just have a lot of variation. There's four here for 365. But you can see some of them are big money. And it's just a really, really cool item that I didn't know about. Um, and it's definitely something to be on the lookout for. And I don't know, the gal that bought it, she may be a collector. She may enjoy stuff like this. This one right here sold for 145 for one pot. And they're calling them seed pots. So very, very cool. And I'm sure that the art that's on them can make them more valuable. 111 on this one. But lots of variation. So I love Worth Point. And this is just another example of why. Oh, this one, look at here. Sold for 78. And if you go into the listing... You can actually look at the bottom. This one is actually signed Grace. All right. So when you go in, you're not only getting just the solds. I now have all of this information right here about this piece of art. So let's go back to um, one of mine. Let's go to this one right here. Actually, let's go up to the one that sold for 168 because I like to look at the high solds because those are the ones that I'm like, they must have had a good description or, so you can see right here, very, very similar to the writing on the bottom of mine. Um, and actually, I think that one has a little defect there. There is a minor chip of color on the child's right hand, which can be seen in pictures. Please view all pictures. Um, it says Mary Ch Ch Chalon, Ch I don't know how to say it, ah! is the daughter of Raymond and Barbita Hera. She was born into the Chiquita 
Pueblo of New Mexico in 1939 and was taught the art of working the clay by her famous mother-in-law, Helen Cordero. Okay, so remember, Helen Cordero is the one that sells for crazy money. She's the one that is the most collectible from my research. So she is the, what did it say? Helen is her mother-in-law. So the origin of the first storyteller dolls can be traced to the artist's mother-in-law, Helen Cordero. Developed the art from that became popular throughout the other pe Pueblos of New Mexico. Mary has won numerous awards, including Honorable Award of the New Mexico State Fair and Blue Ribbons from Colorado and Arizona. She has been featured in numerous publications, including the Santa Fe Collector's Guide. How cool is that? Oh, it's so cool, right? Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love this story. So um, I'm also going to link the gal that bought these. I don't know if she's going to be reselling them, but I don't see anything wrong with this. Like some, the one that sold for 168 had a chip. Um, somebody has one priced really low right now on eBay. And it's really unfortunate that they didn't do the research because things like that, you know, when sellers search solds, it can bring confusion, you know, and then they just don't know the value. But this is stunning. So again, the gal that bought these, I'm going to link her in the, down in the description because I have um, her eBay store. She gave me all the plush because she just needed them to go. Um, and I was like, that'll be great. I can do unboxings on my channel. And it was just, a, it was a great opportunity and a really, uh, just a true blessing that she blessed me with. And I appreciate it so much. Um, I'm going to link her eBay store down in the description and you guys can go check her out. I know she sells a lot of jewelry, so, um, definitely check her out down below, follow her eBay store. These items may be coming in the future. And again, go check out flip it friends. Let me pop that back up because she is a newer YouTuber and let's go show her some love with a sub. When you go and comment on her video, it's the first one that says 10 times profit Bolo. Tell her Bolo Buddies sent you. All right, you guys, I hope you learned something new. Um, this is, I'm going to call this a category video because I'm really like kind of chunking it down into one little category, um, but I didn't know. And it's a super fun um, Bolo. This came from that crafter's estate that uh, was a garage sale. Um, so I, I think I told this story in the other video. I was literally, there were garage sale signs and I went in and I was pulling out and there were like two or three signs. And I'm like, I only went to two sales. Did I miss a sale? And I was like, okay, I know there's a community sale up the road. Do I turn and go to the community sale or do I back up, turn my car around and go back and see if there's another garage sale, if I really missed one? And I turned around and went back and that was this sale and it was an estate garage sale. So what that means is it was a family, family members were selling the stuff at a garage sale, but it was, so it wasn't put on by a company. So these are the best ones. These are people um, that just want the stuff gone. So to them, they saw a bunch of crafters items. It didn't really interest them. And they didn't understand the value. And quite frankly, I really don't understand the value of crafters items because I'm not a crafter. I know it has value, but um, I, I didn't really know what I was buying. Okay. <laughs> so I walk up to the sale and I just start like throwing stuff. I'm like, how much is this stuff? And they're like, I don't know, just make a pile. So I'm like throwing stuff and I make a little pile and I'm like, how much for this? And they give me a price and I'm like, I would do that. So now I know kind of where they're at with pricing because I didn't want to make this huge pile and then be like, $1 million you have to pay. And I've done all this work and spent hours at this sale and it's just not, doesn't make sense, okay? So um, I, I fill it up, fill it up and I'm pulling stuff off shelves. I'm making this huge pile and they're like, do you want to go to the basement? And I'm like, I do. I want to go to the basement. So it was a husband and a wife. Um, so I'm down in this basement and I am just filling big 
boxes. So uh, you guys, if you didn't see the video, definitely go check out the entire video. Um, I did not record while I was there. There was no way I was going to record. Like I was too busy, like just fill in these boxes. And I brought everything up and I sat it in the garage. And I think I told this story before too, but if you didn't see that video, there were like between five and seven huge trash bags full of stuff. And I'm like, what's that? And they're like, that's stuff that's going to the trash. And I'm like, is it trash or is it trash? Like, is it dirty, disgusting trash or is it just stuff you think people won't buy? And they're like, it's stuff we think people won't buy. And I'm like, can I buy those bags from you? <laughs> so those bags were a dollar each. And I will say I donated a lot of that stuff, but there were items that I pulled out of there that I kept. So, um, it was just a super fun, exciting sale. It's one of those that you like as a reseller, you walk up to and you're like, yes. So I made my pile and I, as, in the other video, everybody's like, what did you pay for everything? And I'm like, the reason I didn't tell you guys what I paid for everything is because honestly, I don't remember. Um, I think, but don't quote me on this. I want to say he told me a hundred and then I gave him extra. It was a fantastic deal. But I will tell you, when I was loading those totes, I really wasn't sure what I had. I, I didn't know if it was going to be anything good or if it was just a bunch of stuff that wasn't going to sell. Um, I was thinking about whatnot at that time, but I wasn't 100% like, I'm going to do it, you know? I put uh, whatnot off until December. Uh, so... I had originally planned on starting, I'm trying to remember when I joined, like five or six months before that, like I joined and then I was it's like, I'm going to do it. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't want to learn something new. Ah. And now I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? Because it is so fun. So I'm trying to bring you guys stuff that I would sell on eBay, which uh, you guys know that I sell anything from bread and butter to big money. Am I selling to the reseller? I mean, people are buying my items and reselling them. So yeah, I guess. Um, but I also think I am selling items to people who use the items and want the items for personal use. So depending on how much the item sells for, you know, that's up to the person that's buying the item. You know, you have to decide how much you're willing to spend on it. Are you going to make a profit if you are a reseller? And is it worth it? You know, that's what we do every day as resellers. We go out and we look for bargains. We look for people that miss things like the item that sold on whatnot for almost a thousand dollars that they paid 24. That person missed it. And people could be looking at me like, you just missed it. Yeah, I did. And somebody had said that I was, um, it was mean of me to shame the person that sold the item, that undersold it. I'm like, I'm not shaming the person. I didn't even say who the person was, number one. Number two, if I would have said who the person was, I'm going to bet that everybody that watches me would have went over to their whatnot and followed them. It would have been amazing advertising for that person. Oh, my goodness. So definitely not shaming them. And I'm hoping by showing you guys this video that you guys are going to all come and follow me on whatnot. <laughs> um, so down in the description, there is a link to join whatnot. If um, you're already on whatnot, that will take you to follow me. If you're not, it is a referral link and you will get $15 to shop. So definitely check that out. If you want to sell on whatnot, there is another link down there that is a seller's link. If you use that link, it is a referral link also. It is going to tell whatnot that Bolo Buddies referred you and you may be more likely to get accepted quicker. Um, I've had multiple people message me and say, I got accepted right away. One person, I think she did it at 6.30 p.m. or 7. I can't remember. It was in uh, one of my videos in the comments. And she was, by the next morning, she had an email that she was accepted. And I don't think she's a social media influencer. Now, the next question people have, can I sell on whatnot if I don't have a social media following? Yes. Is it going to take you time to build up your whatnot? Yes. Just like anything else. If you start Poshmark, you have to follow and share and do all these things to build up your following, right? Mercari, eBay, 
You have to list, list, list to fill your item with wonderful items so that people want to come into your store. Not, It's not just like sign up and start selling and everything's going to be like awesome. Okay. Now, if you have a social media following, a Facebook group, uh, an Instagram following, whatever that may be, a YouTube channel, are you going to maybe have a, a better following more quickly? Yes. Do I think that having a channel has helped me? 100%. But I am also doing previews on my YouTube channel. So I'm showing everybody what I'm bringing to whatnot. So that is bringing people over to my shows. Are viewers from this channel buying from me? Yes. Do I think that they're getting good deals? Yes. Um, I don't want to bring bad items to whatnot because I have a reputation to keep. You know what I mean? Like I want you guys to be happy. So um, I want to bring good stuff. So when I first started Whatnot, one thing that I heard over and over was people are bringing things to Whatnot that they don't want to sell on eBay. I, and I saw that. I would watch some shows and I'm like, wow, this, like, they're just bringing their junk. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not even good. And I said, if I'm going to do this, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring things that I would sell on eBay. You guys have seen My Money Mountain, and I don't have time to list all of that. I do not have time. Um, my format on whatnot is I don't use the catalog because I don't have time. When you come to my show, you don't know what I'm going to show because I don't. I give you that YouTube preview, but that's it. I you're not you're not going to know what I'm bringing. So, um, and. I, I, let me know in the comments. Do you think that's good or bad? Are you guys that are coming to my shows? Do you like the format? Do you not like the format? Um, I'm kind of curious, but I literally will be like, okay, I'm going to sell this. And then I will create it right then. I don't put a description. I just put um, Chiquita doll or whatever I put. And then I run it. I weigh it and I run it. The other reason I'm doing that is because a lot of times I'm creating small lots. So I will create the lot. Then I will weigh it. And then I will type it in and run it because otherwise I don't know what it's going to weigh um, because I'm doing bundles and stuff like that. So let's say I show one item and it doesn't sell. Um, I may add it to another item and then that's going to change the weight. So there's different things on whatnot. If you guys have questions down there, definitely let me know. I am absolutely loving it. I love it that I get to like hang out with you guys um, during the chat. Um, it's hard to read the chat. You will see if you do this on your own. A lot of people have a helper. Um, I'm just doing it on my own. My husband goes to bed super early because he gets up and works early and he works, you know, he's he has a job. He works a full-time job. So he does resell on the side as a hobby. But um, like, I'm not going to ask him to stay up until 1 a.m. and get up at five and do a whatnot show with me or six or whatever time he gets up. Um, no way. You know, like I can do it myself. But um, yeah, it's just it's fun. So and he's been very encouraging and he's I think he's excited about it. I mean, it's a, it's a cool thing. So um all right. I have rambled and rambled and rambled. I don't usually ramble like that, but uh, it was just a cool story. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm excited that the gal got it that got it. So um, I'm not going to mention her name because I keep that private, but I will link her eBay store down below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you liked this video. Um, if you're new here, tell me how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.